I'm here at a very unique exhibition of Chinese paintings from Paris. The artist is Dina Gao, and she's also the director of the Chinese Paris Film Festival in Paris. So let's go and see what her story is all about. Half English and half Chinese descent, Dina Gao was born and raised in Shanghai. In 1973, she moved to Hong Kong, and then France in 1975. She held her first exhibition in Paris in 1977. Since then, she's had more than 40 exhibitions of her Chinese paintings. Hi, Dina. Can you tell us a bit about your background and your upbringing? I love Chinese culture, Chinese painting, since I was a little girl. And then, but my mother's English, when we were planning to go back to England, uh, so I, I thought I would like to learn Chinese painting. And I have a few teachers. Uh, one taught me the Chinese landscape painting. Uh, the other one is Chinese figure painting. And also flowers, birds. Uh, so. I'm very glad I have a very good foundation in yeah, so Shanghai. <laughs> in 1984, Dina Gao founded the French Chinese Cultural Association, and then in 2004, she founded the Paris Chinese Film Festival, which has been a great contribution to the exchange of culture between China and France. Over the years, she has also given numerous lectures about Chinese paintings in the city of Paris. Why do you love what you do? I think this, um, in Chinese painting, it's very poetic, you see, and it's uh, very calm, very serene. Yeah? I like to use Chinese brush because when you uh, do Chinese painting, one stroke is one stroke, you can't change, you can't start again, you see. And so you have to have a very steady hand. You have to master the, 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 the brush very well. You moved to Paris in the 70s. Why were you sharing your Chinese heritage with the Parisians there? I think the art, the artist, when you go anywhere, you bring your art with you. You can't separate. So when I go to Paris, at that time I arrived, only with one suitcase, but I, all, I have all the materials for Chinese painting, Chinese brushes, ink stone, ink stick, and uh, colors, paper, everything. I have the art on me, so it can't be separate. And of course, I had to ask Dina to teach me a little bit on Chinese paintings. This is really beautiful. Can you teach me a little? Because uh, Sure. But you know, you have to start to learn Chinese calligraphy first. Oh, okay. <laughs> but well, maybe I'll even do that. so, I assure you. Yes, okay. sit down, please. Yeah. Just sit down. This is my first time. This. Don't be so nervous. Okay. Relax. Okay. Yeah. Two. Three. 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 And then my leaves. Yeah. Hey, what's up, what's up? <laughs> what do you think people can learn from Chinese paintings? From Chinese calligraphy and Chinese painting, you can learn really Chinese culture. It's very profound. In fact, art, uh, there's a no border for the artist. Uh, I mean, the art is universal. Uh, the Chinese people can paint Western paintings so that the French, the Western people, they can also master Chinese painting. There's no secret, you just have to uh, sit down and learn, that's it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and I always say the culture goes with the culture of people. Wherever you go, you bring your art with you. Wherever you go, 
bring your art with you. Now that is a sound device. Okay, so as you can see, the difference between a professional and a beginner, but also a beginner being taught by a professional, I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good start. Thank uh, you. Continue. I will. And practice Chinese calligraphy first. Okay. okay. In Paris. Yeah. <laughs> With you. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> With pleasure. Thank you.